Okay, so we can do some uh, filter slope stronger than 36 decibels per octave. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this. So here you just uh, a quad fromage uh, just loaded, and there is a, a loop going in it. So here what it gives us. Okay, so we have the sound coming through, and you can see that here. I have the highest slope available, but what I can do is chain two bands together so that uh, I can have a steeper slope for my filter. So let's do this. So first I'm gonna enable this band. So we have the sound coming in this band and in this band. Now what I'm gonna do is having the sound going in this band, there's then the sound going from the output of this band into this one and then only then get the sound out of it. So what I'm gonna do is first turn the volume on of this so I can right click to put all the volume together here. Okay, here we are. Now I'm lowering the volume of this one. So next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna okay uh, I'm gonna change the way the bands are ordered so that one and two are in three. Here we are. So now we have the sound going in here. It's going to the output if I'm putting the volume on here, but we don't need it. So down, then in this one. Okay, so now we have 36 plus 12, so it's 48 decibels per octave. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna link the frequencies together of the filter so I don't have to manipulate the two at the same time. So I'm just pressing this button, right? So now... Okay, so now I've got the two bands, so I can have, of course, higher slope. And of course, if I want even steeper filters, I can activate other bands, like this. Lower the volume of all but one. Put all the results we did together. Put all the bands in Siri. And here we are. So now I can do fun stuff because I can even like distort the first band. I have a distortion on the first band, so it's getting filtered by this one, then by this one, then by this one. Okay. So here, I have uh, 140 and more uh, decibel per octave filter. Alright, so mission accomplished.